Hello and welcome back to Blenderpedia with a new video tutorial on how to make a street uh, photo realistic or maybe believable. Um, yeah, in this image you can see my latest work where I uh, create some houses and the street with a duck and some grass and we're focusing uh, of course on this street. How to make that uh, a bit bumpy uh, yeah, and, and realistic. So creating that, uh, we're opening Blender and uh, to create that specularity map and displacement, uh, I used a program called Crazy Bump. Um, opening it, uh, here it is. It's a, it's a 30 day free trial program. After that, you have to pay for it. We don't like to pay for programs, of course. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, this is for 30 days free and most of the times I'm creating my bump maps in uh, GIMP But this one does make it really quick and acceptable So yeah, <laughs> you should go and try it out uh, Open your normal texture And you have to load do, 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 do. There we go. You can choose between this one and this one and this Here you, it pops out so we use that one uh, we don't need the normal map, we want a displacement map. And it's already pretty good. And you can yeah, switch between what you like and zooming in a bit. But it's, yeah, choose what you want. I don't have a special value for it. Um, yeah, and save it. Save your texture. Same for specularity. Uh, yeah, try things out uh, and, and watch this, this image. Uh, till you think yeah this is what I want I can choose that for you I know my own values but it's not it's already pretty good so save also that texture in the map put them all together and you can close the program you don't need it anymore crazy stuff um, yeah we are in blender and we are removing the cube look, look at that uh, we're switching to cycles render engine uh, we have top view, uh, almost removing a lamp, I don't want it. Uh, and we put a clean plane in the middle. Uh, yeah, you should put it in the middle, uh, around this size, around this, all right. Uh, oh yeah, I almost forget, maybe this is pretty handy. You see the mouse, you can see my, uh, what, I, what I'm doing, so this should be good bigger like that right um, and we're going to subdivide the plane till three four five till this one and the next step is we're putting a subdivision surface modifier on it and give it a value of two it duplicates all the polygons and we can uh, switch between if it's too much we can work or make it more but two is okay uh, next step is selecting all these vertices. Um, oh, not Y, but <laughs> we make a project from view and we're opening our texture. Open it and, and open floor or the name you call it. And it's a, it's a square, so it's not that hard. And of course, opening it here. Same one for number one. All right, there you go. Uh, and we toggle to the texture mode. We see our texture. So I'm selecting this. Oh, not load. What did I do? <laughs> don't press Shift D. It will duplicate your camera. You don't want that. Ooh. All right, this is this is good. Okay. Well, just hit F12. What do we see? It's black and not good. <laughs> To me, uh, problem is we have to do something with the light. Um, making a sky uh, texture and give that a value of 0.6 and gives you uh, a nice bluish color. And the next step is of course putting, of course, if you can do it, make this GPU it will render way faster. Um, yeah, put a light in the scene and make this a sunlight and give that a value of four. And 
I rotate that a bit so it's not coming straight from from the from the sky. Give some nice choice. Okay, I need render again. Okay, there we go. And in this image, you can see what we had on uh, this. It was like what happened all the times: so flat, no, no details at all. Uh, yeah, and I have a solution for that. It's so very easy to do it. Uh, what you do is selecting this one, and I have to go tall between the cycles engine and blender engine since there is no good system for putting a displacement on. I think uh, opening your uh, displacement texture, uh, yeah, opening it, and call this this uh, floor. And you go back to the cycles engine and da, 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 put a displacement. Yeah, uh, opening this floor, and you get this piece of crap. Of course, you have to give it some value point zero zero five. Uh, make it a gray. Yeah, that's okay. A bit more bumpy. Yeah, give it. 0, 0 0.01 make it smooth of course okay and we hit it f12 yeah you can feel some bump map but we are not there yet because <laughs> 0 0.02 no that's too much 0 0.0 no 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 0 0.015 yeah that's what we want hit it again Okay, this is the first step. It's a bit rough, I know, but we go to the next step. Uh, we're making a cube, and why should I make a cube in this scene? I make this a very shiny red color. Um, I'm rendering it again, and you can see some red color overall, and uh, the reason I'm doing this, I want to give it some glossy specularity. In real life, everything has some specularity. Uh, these bricks has no. So that's our next step. Uh, leave that there. And we are switching to the, remove that one. Go to the UV image editor. Uh, no, we go to the node editor. Selecting the floor and make this uh, Go to the camera view and make this render so we see exactly what we're doing and the next step is making a shader putting a shader and uh, make it glossy there and then we need a new image a texture texture image texture and we're opening the specularity one there we go uh, put it in the color and now we need something to combine uh, the diffuse and glossy together and put it in the surface because there's just one hole and we can't put them together and what we need is a mix shader that's it it's it's what it says it's mixing these two shaders and when we put it there you see something's changed you see the red color was reflecting uh, what I don't like is our preview sampling, so I'll give that a value of 60. Yeah, all right. Uh, ref uh, preview, not good. <laughs> yeah, now it's going up and makes it a bit smoother. So, uh, yeah, this is pretty much what I wanted. So now we have some bumpy street. Make it uh, solid again, so I can select my camera. And uh, so, yeah, uh, putting that back. Oops, not good, not, not good. Ah, oh, chaos, chaos everywhere. All right, there we go. Uh, this is acceptable. I think put dress between the, the bricks, uh, but that in, uh, in another tutorial. This is just the basic creating the street. That's it. 
give it your own value and the specularity. If you want it more or less, it's up to you. Uh, but yeah, okay. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you watch my next tutorial on Blenderpedia. See you later. Bye bye.